Ladies and gentlemen, Sublime Alien here as always, and welcome to my personal level that I made in Doom Builder 2, uh, for Doom 2. I had been working on this level for quite a long while, and this is the newest version. I will show you the much, much, much older version of it in a bit. You will notice that there will be a lot of changes. Um, but the reason I'm actually doing this video is because I'm going to be kicking off with a new series of Doom Builder tutorials. Uh, something that there isn't much of on the internet. Now, why am I not just starting off with the tutorials? I want to kind of show you guys that I'm capable of some fairly advanced techniques in the Doom engine so that you guys can trust that the tutorials I bring will be of quality and of use to your own personal Doom levels. Now, the Doom building community is not big. No, 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 it is not big at all. But that's not a bad thing necessarily. Now, in the first version of this map, I actually had a secret right here, but I got rid of that. Okay, I do know there's a secret right here as well. Uh, this is a fairly advanced map. It's got every key color in use. Um, the blue key being used by the blue skull key rather than the key card, which in this case is purely because uh, of style. I just preferred to use the skill key rather than the key card. It does nothing different um, because I have no blue key card door uh, on the side. So, And that's why I have a secret here with the plasma rifle in it because of the Baron of Hell right here, which this makes it a hell of a lot easier to take care of him. There we go. There is actually still one glitch in this level. Oh my. I'm getting my ass kicked right now. Good thing level is plentiful with health. Oh, there's one guy I totally forgot to get rid of out here too. So there's an invisible fucking Baron of Hell. And he's a pain in the ass to deal with, and I completely left him out here. I'm gonna have to grab this soul sphere right now. So I don't. Ah, there he is! Okay, I'm running this. Where did he go? No! Oh, there he is. Okay, so it, look, it looks like he's. Ah, I'm out of ammo. Or no, wait, I've got rockets. Oh, I just don't have a rocket launcher. Okay, I see what it is. I see why. I'm going to have to punch this pinky demon real quick. So it looks like I need to work on the level scarcity, uh, or the ammo scarcity in the level. It looks like I might have, have it might have it a little bit unbalanced. Um, I can work on that. And that's, that's a, ah, he's in here. No! Oh my gosh. I might die on my own level. <laughs> oh man. Okay, come on. What? Fuck off. <sighs> All right, I'm going to skip forward to that part of the level. All right, welcome back. So, uh, I, I suppose the first little tutorial we could actually do right here, um, mid-game nonetheless, but hey, it still works. Uh, there is actually one glitch in my level. You cannot use a doors uh, line def, which is a line. God damn it, there he is. And I'm out of... No! Again, with the lack of ammo. Give me your ammo clip. God damn it, that didn't help at all. Chain gun, yay. So, uh, you cannot use the line def of a door to operate uh, other ma machinery if you could call it that. Thank you. Alright, let's pick up these clips and this health. Because when you walk out that door, it's actually supposed to lower this, but it doesn't work. So I actually have to no-clip my way on top of it in order to get this yellow key. This is supposed to be how the level progression is. That's supposed to lower when you walk through this door over here. God damn it, the invisible guy is still over here. I'm gonna grab this soul sphere because health. 
I don't know where he is. I'm gonna have to skip it. Um, I'll grab this right now because I need ammo badly. So I'm just gonna have to waste the mega sphere slightly. I prefer to get those as close to the end of the level as possible. Okay, hold on. It's another secret. Which gives us the rocket launcher. God damn it. I hate those homing missiles. A little bit of ammo there. Alright. Um a little bit of a glitch in the level as well. well. It's not so much a glitch, there's just some lighting inconsistencies. I didn't properly change the lighting of that sector properly, and that is something that you will have to learn to cover your bases on as well. Now there's actually... I'm just gonna be careful here. Because when you actually go right really close to the red key, this wall will open and there's monsters in it, so I'm just being careful not to activate that <laughs> without knowing, because I've done it before. You just have to walk on the lower platform, not get the red key itself. Which honestly is how I prefer to do things. You can set it to where picking up an item creates an instance where stuff like that can happen. I personally avoid it, however, because it makes the the level much easier to manage. Uh, I, I stick items to, to being items. This key, or this switch, lowers the red key area. And this is actually not the first version of this level. Uh, right after I will show you this part of the first version of the level, I still have that file. It is quite changed, but you can see, um, you know, how far the level has really come. What there? Get out of... Mm. Okay, so there's going to be an invisible baron of hell somewhere around here. So let's try to be wary of that. Or maybe not. Ah! Don't know where the fuck he came from. Alright, well, let's go get the red key here. Because that switch lowered it. Get the red key. Walking on that platform opened up the secret over here. I hope there's a barrel still here. Yep, there is. That takes care of most of them. Alright, so now we can go out the other door. And that will take us to the exit portion of the level. Just like that. Alright, we're going to cut to the first version of the map real quick. Yeah, I, that 2% lost because of the Invisible Baron I couldn't find. I didn't manage, I didn't um, change the par time on the level. It's not supposed to be 30 seconds. That is the par for the original Doom 2 level 1. So we're going to cut to the first version. I'll show you some of the differences. Okay, guys? And welcome to version 1 of the very same map. In this one, you're not noticed by people immediately. As you can tell, probably kind of feel as well, the rooms are much larger. I highly compacted the rooms, specifically this room I worked on compacting, and there weren't any um, shotgun guys in the initial area. You actually aren't supposed to get the first shotgun, in the new version at least, get out of here with my steez until uh, you go through the hallway tunnels over to the side there but in this version it was changed you can see that this room is also significantly changed in design from the last version as well this secret still remains but looks much worse um, than over here this is also far larger than the other one take care of this guy real quick I think ammo in this w in this one is much better. I still have the same lighting effects, and as you can see, the secret is here, um, which I did remove. There's also a pinky demon back here that wasn't here originally, and you get the chainsaw much earlier on. This one is triggered uh, far earlier, and the room is different as well. And this one doesn't have a side opening over here. Rather, it's over here. And there are far fewer monsters, so this one had changed in design dramatically, but it did keep the lighting. I added a third light to the other end over there. And this part still expands over here, except now there is a chain gun guy, so you can get a chain gun far earlier in the map. And you'll actually notice that this door does not open, because there's... Well, that's, that, that's just a texture. I didn't make a door there, so... I, 
very much has changed. The openness of this is quite different. The Revenant is still here, uh, being a pain in the ass, but he's considerably easier to take care of because of the po more powerful weapons you get a hold of earlier on in the level. Until he walks around to the side like that, then it becomes a pain in the ass, and he can severely damage you if he cares to shoot. It looks like he kind of glitched out and didn't want to shoot because maybe he couldn't... Maybe he didn't think he could reach me because of this platform. Hard to say. Grab this. That is still risen up as before. As you can see, the lighting error isn't present in this one, and the platform is far larger. The trap there still remains, and this is no longer a yellow key. And this is where those major changes that I was telling you about occurred. Let's get the shotgun out. As you can see, there's an entirely... Whoa, barely dodged that. An entirely different room, and you get the double barrel shotgun in here, or super shotgun, as it's called. And this room actually requires the blue key. And here there are three pinkies, as opposed to the two, and there is a completely other door here. And this actually is functioned via a... Uh, switch and the stairs here are gone and a door added so removing the door gave the the level a much easier flow as you can see the wall design here has changed as well and I believe the textures in this room might be different maybe the roof texture hard to say this is still present I didn't kill him because I'm a noob you can actually see that the lights are flickering which is a good way to actually give away where secrets are as you can see this is quite different as well the level has gone through significant changes this is all still here though you're not forced to get the um, that until uh, by going through in order to get the drops from the monsters in here and I also have a broken light as it were it's just an unbrightened texture honestly uh, is what that is but it's effects like that that can go a long way and you can see that there is a why am I not using my plasma rifle who bloody knows <laughs> okay no where is it there we are much easier as you can see there's also no door here as well anymore and this is completely different as well and the trap is far larger and fairly deadly as it so happens to be because I am fucking low on health and I'm very close to dying and there's still people in here that I can't see because it's so goddamn dark in this room that's why I changed it luckily enough there's health back here oh and there's in this corner actually missed that one actually now's not a bad time to grab the megasphere I've taken care of most of the monsters so the level has progressed far differently. Alright, let's go get this red key now. Oh, wait. I did not. Oh, I completely missed the switch, I think. That should have been what lowered the red key. Don't tell me that's broken in this version. It's entirely possible. Oh no, that opens this. Oh, why would I do that? Dick move. Alright. This is where the outside area is this time. It's the exact same, honestly. I just moved the entrance to it entirely and removed that section of it, which I think was a nice design decision as well as I as well as looped it around so that you can get into the back uh, the initial door from there but much of it is unchanged and here is the door to get the blue key card which is used in this version of the map and of course he is still here let's take care of him while I know about where he is there we go awesome alright so let's go through here now of course it's a trap when is it not in doom it's uh, he's still alive there we go alright so now that I've got the blue key card I'm able to go back through that room that's completely uh, 
made for this version and as you can see this room is far larger and the enemy count is far different as well as the variety of enemies actually some of them are the same but there I believe there's a chain gunman as well in this room in the newest version of it the pillars did stay and the button design had changed majorly this also got a bit of a makeover the secret still remains there's a bit more monsters in it but it's still there and the Saint items are up there so this is the switch that lowers the red key which will open up the trap right there which is far different much larger very bright and the textures are completely different and with the red key we are now able to go and exit the level which has monsters and that is the first version of the level that I had just played through um, like I said a long time in the making that level has gone through a lot of different uh, incarnations and I've been working on it for a very long time and of course the second level is normal doom but that is a hell of a way to kick it off I hope you guys are interested and intrigued and those levels gave you a bit of an insight as to what level of uh, ability and creativity I have in the doom builder um, program so the following videos will be tutorials as well as a bit of some personal levels uh, I'll play through some personal levels uh, here and there as well but it's gonna be mainly tutorials so bit of a pilot episode except it's completely different from what the series is about I hope that's not too big a deal I think a lot of people will be interested in it regardless thank you for watching have a nice day